Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to customize an action figure using permanent markers from the Dollar Tree. Action figure from Dollar Tree, which I've shown on a previous video. So let's see how it goes. Okay, today we're going to attempt to customize this Dollar Tree action figure. Uh, I really didn't like the camo scheme on this guy at all. The like flesh color doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to take a brown, green, and black marker and see what I can do. I know if you want to customize something, you usually use paint, but I wanted to see how cheap I could do it and how fast. Okay, I started with some brown on the shoulders uh, to try to get some of that flesh color a little darker. This brown wasn't dark enough, and uh, this was my first attempt, and you can see I kind of messed up here on these shoulders. So I wanted to edge out the, the dark brown with the black, but kind of hard to do since the marker's tip is a little bit thicker. You need some kind of fine point. But the good thing is, at least the dollar in this guy is just in camo anyway, and camo has no distinct pattern, so it doesn't really matter. So here I'm going to use some green to try to edge things out, maybe blur it in a little bit better. But being marker, they kind of bleed over in each other and the green just kind of drags the black around. So I decided I'm going to black out most of this um, flesh colored camo. I really, really don't like the way that looks. So I'll take the black marker, just going to black these things out in a Green camo does usually have black in it, so that's fine. And it's gonna look better, I think, than the, the stupid color it is right now. So here I'm gonna attempt to use the green again to kind of blur in the black to the the base color is already on the, the action figure. So here I'm going to go back to the shoulder that I started with and try to clean it up a little bit with the green. I'm going to try to use the brown again on the other arm. Maybe use a little more force, try to get a little darker. So here I go back to black to do primarily most of the rest of the figure in black. At least it's camo, anyway.
and I go back to green to try to blur in some of the edges. And I go back to black to start doing some touching up. So here I decided to go ahead and make his belt black, at least one of the straps, and I'll wrap it all the way around to the back. Here's the finished product using a brown, black, and green permanent marker.